Winds start to pick up this afternoon, potentially of rumble of thunder, gusty winds especially tonight. We could see a little bit of a rain break, 5 to about 8 o'clock, but I'm going to track all that for you coming up. Traffic this morning heading out the door. Here's a look at the latest condition. So currently construction 66 westbound in Maryfield. Uh, this has reduced the roadway to two lanes between the Beltway and Nutley Street this morning. So quite a bit of slowing right in that interchange. Construction reduces the roadway on 66 eastbound in Maryfield down to one lane between Nutley Street and the Beltway as well. And construction 395 northbound in Arlington blocks the two right lanes between Eads Street and GW Parkway. We were led to believe that Mr. Snyder would not interfere with the independent, quote unquote, investigation. He did. We were led to believe that the public would not be left out of the process. We were. We were led to believe real change would happen. We're still waiting. D.C.'s attorney general is taking legal action against the commanders and the NFL. It all stems from an investigation into allegations of workplace misconduct. Reaction pouring in from fans in this continuing and latest saga involving the district's home team. Fox 5's Melanie Alwick is standing by with their thoughts. Good morning to you, Melanie. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit all over the place, to be honest. A lot of people were a little let, let, let down by that announcement. They sort of felt like, well, wait, it's a consumer protection statute? That's all you got? But other people uh, said they're glad that at least somebody is trying to hold the team accountable somehow. Here's what some people had to tell us. I was initially uh kind of optimistic that it might have been reasonable i am concerned that it is uh, against the whole entire league as well as the redskins organization so i don't know how credible it is and i don't know the details yet i think that is really unfortunate and really unfortunate for football unfortunate for the washington commanders um you know the people just wanted the truth about what was going on and and to be deceived and to not be told the truth is just it's not good. Now, Racine's lawsuit argues that D.C. consumers are the team's fan base, as evidenced by jerseys with the D.C. flag on them and other merchandise where D.C. is clearly visible. The lawsuit says D.C. fans as consumers were harmed by team owner Dan Snyder and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's agreement to keep private the results of the first investigation into sexual harassment and a toxic workplace environment. Racine says they kept the truth from the public to protect corporate profits. It is interesting that this lawsuit was not about the alleged financial improprieties which the House Oversight Committee handed to the Attorney Generals in Maryland, Virginia, and D.C. On social media, a lot of comments question that. One person says, a waste of tax dollars. Another, the only lawsuit should be for the victims, not fans. D.C. government is completely corrupt anyway. Another, why are they bringing me into this? I'm a D.C. resident and I promise I don't care. And finally, I was really hoping it was something more than this. Standing is here based on the fact that the team fans live in D.C. rather than any new facts being discovered about the things that happened in D.C. I love Racine, but this is a weird stunt. Hopefully another thing that forces Snyder to tell to sell the team, though. So, again, people are still trying to kind of wrap their head around what this was all about. Why is it a consumer protection lawsuit and not something dealing with these larger uh, allegations of cooking the books that uh, the House Oversight Committee was looking into. Um, you can certainly share your thoughts with us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, Melanie, and you just mentioned that. Uh, this story brings us to our Fox 5 Live Insta poll. Today we're asking, did Dan Snyder and the NFL deceive fans in D.C. about the investigation into the team? You can vote by scanning the QR code on your screen, visiting fox5dc.com, or by downloading the free Fox 5 app. All right, time to talk a little weather with Claire. Uh, the big story, though, is that it's Friday. Yes. So, uh, woo woo. rain or shine. No matter what. No matter what, it's still Friday. Exactly. Now, having said that, I know you gotta, you got to yeah. bring some bad news. You know what? The uh, there's a silver lining to everything. And yes. Friday is right. the silver lining of this weather forecast. Yeah, we are going to see increasing showers, wind, chance of thunderstorms this afternoon. So, right now it is dry, but look how warm it is. It is 61 degrees currently for Reagan. Dulles and BW1.